Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be speaking about my India vision for 2030. What is it that we can achieve in this decade? And this decade has started with a pandemic, transforming everything human beings know as the world is forever changed. One invisible virus has done a lot more than what we could not do in terms of transformation of industries, of people, of mindsets. COVID-19 has completely collapsed and disfigured everything that we held as legacy and traditional mindsets. People thought that working from home will be frivolous and today we are forced to make productivity work for companies, governments and businesses and private institutions even though working from anywhere, not, not just homes. Therefore, change can be good, provided change is in the right direction. So today I want to express what I think is the art of possible in my perspective for our country, India. India is a unique country and there are many incredible facts about India. India as a nation state, as a geopolitical entity got its independence and was formed as a geopolitical entity in 1947. So we are just 72 years old as a country. However, as a civilization, we are perhaps thousands and thousands of years old. And over the vast expanse of time in which India evolved or the Indian region as a subcontinent evolved is truly incredible. India and the people have given the world yoga, spirituality, quest for self-realization, zero, the number system and many other gifts based on which the world literally runs today. The core construct of the human race, the archetype of the mind and spirituality was etched here in our motherland. India has 600,000 villages or 6 lakh villages as we say in India. We have over 735 districts and we have now 36 states and union territories. And for India's 1.35 growing population of people, the only way to succeed is to ensure that all Indians who have succeeded, whether they live in India or abroad, begin to give back consistently for our country. Just imagine if every millionaire could adopt just one village to create and transform a village from where it is to make it a self-sustaining smart village enabled by technology and access to right information. We can find what CK Prahlad described as fortune at the bottom of the pyramid. Making solutions available to the 1.3 billion people at the bottom of the pyramid can transform our country. There are many countries in the world with large populations which have done it. A prime example is our very friendly China. And there are also very small countries which have done phenomenally well disproportionate to their size, such as Singapore, which is perhaps the model which inspired China to grow. So talking about India, there are many things that we can do, but we need a very strong vision and we need participation. 
we need to mobilize first thought leadership have a clear vision and this endeavor is to initiate and contribute to that process so the first thing that we need to make as a country is what is called as energy transition achieving self sufficiency in energy because our oil import bill is one of the largest and it is becoming a burden to our gdp and to the economic balance sheet so we need to invest increasingly into electric mobility and now the upcoming hydrogen ecosystem of energy and we need to invest on biofuels a combination of electricity electric mobility biofuels and hydrogen along with making sure that the villages in india are ably powered can accelerate our transition into truly a green economy which is self sustaining so at the core of what we need is what i call as run on sun strategy we make sure that we harness the maximum number of days we have from solar radiation being a tropical country from solar power generation and the energy storage from solar power and utilization of that entire energy cycle to make sure that we are as green as possible the carbon dioxide which is generated out of polluting activities need to be captured with increasing afforestation programs and making sure that villages also become uh, forest sink areas where we increase the green cover in the villages that we have encourage farmers to protect the forest in the nearby village areas and make sure that our green cover is not compromised and converting carbon dioxide into oxygen the plants and trees are the best possible investments we can make there is no other way to make sure that sustainable growth can be achieved and the six lakh villages that we have we need solar powered smart farms and smart agriculture and smart agriculture implies that we make sure that equipment and mechanization is available to farmers so that they can increase and amplify their muscle power into having better productivity for every unit of land water and electricity resource that they invest this will also make sure that we reduce and eliminate this entire curse of farmer suicides that we have in our country so smart agriculture using internet of things using solar power and using smart software platforms technology available today on mobile interfaces can transform our productivity in the agriculture sector and biofuels is something that is emerging we need to accelerate the pace of biofuels where all of the bagasse after the harvest is dried and then completely utilized to produce biofuels and those biofuels are used in tractors again for farming activities and tractors mind you are not only used for farming activities but are also used to transport livestock to transport agricultural produce to transport uh, construction um, material and also to transport people it has multiple utilization and india is one of the largest markets in the world for tractors and the largest manufacturer of tractors to the world so this is one area where we can make a quantum leap by making small but consistent changes across all the villages and another aspect is our healthcare sector and the pandemic has completely exposed how weak we are and how we have failed in building a world class healthcare facility for the people of our country not just in rural areas but also in the urban areas but 
the need of the hour is to make sure that the healthcare centers have remote healthcare facilities. We should be able to deliver remote healthcare service using AI powered platforms and mobile connectivity. And the clinics need to have solar power in order to make sure that power is available for refrigeration of vaccines and medicine and to run uh, the medical devices in the healthcare centers. And AI collecting data using artificial intelligence systems can help doctors to remotely diagnose patients and provide aid to the healthcare staff and the local healthcare professionals and doctors who are available in the district areas as well as in the villages. This is a huge opportunity for us to transform. And unless we have healthy people with access to good basic healthcare, we will not be able to achieve prosperity and a sustainable future for young India, which has to grow into an emergent India, into a very spiritual and economically successful country. This is what is unique about India. We have a lot of problems, but therefore we have a lot of opportunities. And problems are nothing but opportunities in workloads. So, in summary, the vision is to make sure that we are speaking of things which are relevant to the development of our motherland and making sure that people are curating their energy and focus and content towards what India needs and focusing on how they can contribute to the upliftment of the country and making sure that we join hands together in order to make sure that our country is prospering and for the children and grandchildren of India, which is our moral responsibility and also this will give all of us a great amount of fulfillment. It's a mission worth working for. And therefore, we need to fulfill Vision 2030. Thank you. Jai Hind.